Three Gears! Welcome to the next episode against uh, Nack. I'm just gonna call him Nack. It's probably NAC or, or something like that. I'll just, or you could call him Breda or Breda or Warburton's. Whatever you want to call him, guys. You know what I mean? So, um, uh, yeah, in this part, uh, we got the Eredivisie game here, and then obviously we got the final Champions League game against Abdul Bau. Um, so, in that case, I've decided just to put out a full strength team because, you know, try and get as many points as we can in the league, and then we can just rest the team in the next match, pretty much, and just have a completely changed team again. Um, because, well, why not? We might as well. Um, so, yeah, um,. Other than that, let's go for it. Uh, Kout is in the squad. Um, no uh, Kalu. Um, he's sitting on the bench. And I think I made one change at the back. I think I took... I want to say Jean out and put Zuvaloon in. I want to say that. I don't know if I should say that, but I want to say that. Um... So yeah, in the last part we had a bit we had a couple of tough games in the last one, probably down to me to be honest, me not playing as well as I should be. But um yeah, <laughs> I mean I made life a little bit harder for us than it should have been in the last episode. So um yeah, whatever. Let's just Oh. Oh, good shot by a count in the end, but nothing came of it. Um so yeah, I'm hopefully in this game. I'm not sure where this team are in the table. I like sometimes I forget to check where they are, and um, it just makes me sad sometimes. This should be a goal. Yes, it is. Nicely done. Tell you what, the options up front just give you everything. <laughs> it really does. A Danko. Just, um, you know what I mean? I, I always put the same amount of power on the ball when I shoot. Oh, Renato. Oh, the shot. I really want him to get a goal. You know when, like, you sign a new player, guys? Like, it doesn't matter what, like... S like game you're playing, you know when you, you know when you're doing like a career mode on a game. It doesn't have to be FIFA. It could be PES. It could be anything. And you always sort of like get real excited for that new player, and you first put play him, and you put him up front or whatever position he plays in. You just you can't wait for him to get his first goal, and that's what it's that's what it's like with him. Like that, I think that's what did I put him up front the other week, and uh, I couldn't I couldn't I I just wanted to put him up front just because I wanted to tr him to try and get a goal. It's kind of like when, like, Kalu was trying to get his first goal for us on this game. And, like, you know. Ugh. I think, did that go out of play first? I think it did. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's just that kind of thing. You know, like, Chutos when I first got him and I couldn't wait for him to get his first. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Pretty. Oh, wait. Nope. Oh, it's sometimes like you, it's possible to like take it a touch too far, especially in this game. Especially in this game. Not well. Not really a touch, but maybe a pass too far. But uh, that uh, that will be the first half. I have to say, I really like the um, the shirts that. Um, Breda are, wear, are wearing in the in this game. They're, it's their away shirt, not their home one. Um, I actually really like it, guys. Wouldn't mind that shirt. <laughs> Wonder if um, you can actually like. Oh 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 oh! What a goal! <laughs> that was amazing. I think he took it fair. Was that a volley? I think that was a volley, guys. Oh no way, it did, well, it was kind of a, a volley, it did bounce first, I thought he took it sort of, when well, it was still up in the air for some reason. That was just kind of a snapshot, I wasn't expecting that to hit the net really, I thought I was going to miss, but... Yeah, something tells me this game's getting a little bit too easy, guys. What was I talking about? I was talking about shirts or something. 
Yeah, I, I think I was about to say, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting some of these, like, shirts. You know, like, playing against all these different teams in different games and stuff, like, sometimes you find shirts that are just really nice. And, um, you know what I mean? It's like, ooh, I wouldn't mind that shirt. Oh, good attempt, but corner one. Renato, header, oh, that was his chance. That was his chance. Corner. But uh, I'm kind of a fan of the um, the long shirts, guys. You know the long sleeve shirts. Like uh, there used to be a time where I wasn't bothered about what shirt I got, but now I've kind of like I'm really sort of picky about um, the shirts that I buy. I always have to get a long sleeve one. And I'm just imagining what that away one would look like in long sleeve. I look really nice, I think. And uh, that's a good ball over the top. Is that going to be? It won't be. It's a good tam attempt, though. Here's Chew Toss. Oh, still, nope. And oh, so close! I put Chutos into the middle of the uh, the the free up front actually, because I don't think he's actually ever played there. It's usually Count who takes that position. And the manager changing things around. But uh, it's not really going to matter at this point because we're into like the 90th minute anyway. So who knows? There might just be a goal here. I guess we'll see. That's not going to make it through. What's going to happen here? If we win the ball back, there might just be one last opportunity for a goal here. Here we are. And of course not. What a waste of time. But uh, there we go. It's a win anyway, so I'm not going to complain about it. It'll do. Alright guys, so we've arrived in Bilbao and uh, we've changed the team up like I said we would. And uh, kind of kind of liking that Bilbao kit. Kind of, I don't know what it is. It's just kind of liking it, guys. It's it's Stoke City esque. <laughs> so um, I don't know. Um, yeah, win this, and we won all our group stage games. So I don't know what to say, really, guys. It is so strange. You just to because I just didn't think this would happen. But um, they've got Esquero. Uh, I think that's how we say. We've got Exteberia in the uh, in the squad there as well, Bilbao, which I didn't know he played for them, so that's kind of interesting to find out. And uh, yeah, here we go. And we've got the LFP referee there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he had the LFP logo on the referee there. And um, yeah, that's strange. I mean, it should be a Champions League referee, but obviously uh, full Champions League is not in this game, so... I have to make do, but uh, yeah, uh, Jansen is in goal. Um, who else have I got in? I changed the defence around a bit. I think I put... Oh, I can't remember now. <laughs> I can never remember, but uh, Cass... Cass... Whatever his name is, Cass somebody is in the midfield. I can never use him. I might actually sell him, guys. I'm not so sure, to be honest. Um, you know what I mean? I'm really... Um, I think we're on, like... Is it 70 now? I think we're on like 70 finance. So we nearly like upgraded the finance guys um, in the game. So, ooh, Chutos will have to just get onto the end of that. A whipped in ball would be nicely. Why is one of our... Uh, can you see? why? What's he doing all the way over there? Look at the left. Like top left corner there, guys. Like, you know, why have our, our players like strolling back up front it's a bit strange like, that was so strange one of our, I think it was who was on that side Kalu I think it was Kalu and he was like in where, near where the corner flag was guys for a moment and I don't know why he was that far up there for like no reason whatsoever like, he might do it again I'll have to keep an eye on the radar but uh, yeah just keep the ball here he is Cas Castellan that's his name 
Um, so he's in there. Boss Chart is in there. I don't think we've seen Boss Chart for a while, actually. The big boss man. Ooh, good thing that happened there because we scored. And it's Tutos with another one. A good shot there. But yeah, I do. I am starting to think that this formation is maybe too overpowered. Maybe I shouldn't use it, guys. Um, may maybe what I'm thinking, because we are seven points clear in the league, guys. So I've just been looking at the table. We are seven points clear. We've have we've had our game in hand, so we've won our game in hand, and we're seven points clear. So it looks like we're on to pretty much win the league. Which I honestly didn't honestly believe that we could maybe do. I mean, but the season's not over yet. But I'm starting to think maybe, um, you know, maybe the maybe there needs to be changes with this series or something. Maybe, possibly. So I don't know really. Um, yeah, I mean, I might just leave you guys to decide on that. But uh, at the moment, oh no, he's left and right open. Switch the damn player. Why are you not switching? It's thought it was going to be too late there and we would have conceded but thankfully not we haven't really got many men forward here kind of had to regroup here's Kalu oh that's well done oh he's still got it it's Tutor are you kidding me I don't even know what happened there, guys. Was there meant to... Wow! Goalkeeper just totally missed that. Wow. It's just not something you see every day on this game. I think it may have had something to do with the clearance there that caused the goalkeeper to dive. I don't... No, really, at all. I don't know why he decided to dive really early there. You never really see that on this game. And if it does happen, it's either rare or it's because of the clearance. Crap. Oh, well, we got our punishment there, didn't we? <laughs> Which we was probably due. Every time you see it again, the finish looks better. Now look at that for a finish. Uh, easy as you like. They always seem to be perfect in the top corner. The the key, uh, the the computer. I hate that. Not realistic enough. Oh. Well, that's the first half over with, and I'm surprised really. Let's keep it going though. To, uh, anyway, I think isn't it Bill Bauer already out? Um, so I don't think they can get through, um, but, uh, you know, depending, I, I, like, I don't know, guys, I don't know, but, uh, I think, is it Sparta Praga playing Chelsea? If Sparta Praga beat Chelsea, there may even be a chance that they could get through, I'm not sure, though. Um, I think it maybe goes based on goal difference, and, um, like, in that case, it should be, uh, it should be that, um, that uh, Chelsea would probably go through because I think they have the better goal difference but uh, I guess we'll soon see and uh, oh that's going to be a corner that's not good it's not going to be good boy let's not concede this they're going to try and go for the back post hopefully my boss will pick up he won't but enough to kind of put him off the no here they are this spells trouble. Ooh, Jensen. I think that was that was either going wide or it might have hit the post. But, uh, yeah, Gerson uh, is going to come on for Renato, and um, yeah, Lazovic is in the middle of the, uh, the the three up front. So I don't know why I thought he wasn't. Oh, oh, ah. Oh. Um, so and I've made a change at the back. I think I took off Bosch chart. I think it was, and uh, yeah, that's it. Oh no, get back. All right, good ball, good ball. Is it going to go out? Oh, kept it in. Oh, good, good bit of play from them there. I could see what they were trying to do, but here we are on the counter. Kalush, oh come on, Kalu, you bum. What a good piece of defending there. 
Oh, come on. One last attack here. Maybe, possibly. You know what? I'm going to shoot. Nope. <laughs> Nothing else on, just nothing else, and uh, that's the game. Whatever, we won them all. I'm just really surprised at this, guys. You know what I mean? Can we keep this going into the knockout stage? I wonder if we get to see who we're up against next, actually, in Europe straight away. We'll have to uh, find out. So, uh, some results here. Galatasaray beat Porto. Uh, Manchester United lost to Oza 2-0. Rumor beat uh, P-A-O-K. Pauk. I keep doing it every time, but PSV drew 2 2 away to Bremen. Leverkusen 3 1 against uh, Warsaw, so I wonder where Warsaw ended. I think that's Warsaw out, actually, no. Uh, Valencia went to Stuttgart and won 1 0. PSG went to Anderlecht and won 2 0. And Benfica beat Leon 3-1. Interesting, and that's pretty much it. Now, uh, I'll just have to take my word for it, but I'm not going to show you the uh, league table because uh, we, I already explained that we are seven points clear, and I think we've played 15 games each at the top. So, uh, yeah, I think we're on, like, 30 six points and uh, I think Ajax are on 29 but anyway uh, this is the Champions League this is how it finished after six games so Leverkusen and Benefica went through so I think that win yeah that win took Benefica into it and Leon come bottom that's kind of surprising to be honest um, Walsall did pretty good actually but they just missed out um, let's see Valencia went through Valencia were very solid PSG went through as well Stuttgart and Anderlecht uh, bottom of their group uh, Manchester United came second so might be even possible that we get drawn against them. I hope not. Uh, PSV came top um, just by a point. Oh, Zer did really well, to be honest, but they only just missed out. I think they would have they would have had to have beaten Manchester United by a big margin, actually. If, well, fought and against is, is 8 and 5, so I think that, that puts them on 3, and United are on 6, so they would have had to have like five past United I think to have gotten through where the Bremen come bottom uh, Roma top their group oh they actually won all of theirs as well well done to Roma well nicely done for them only seven points for Porto to take them through Galatasaray went through uh, sorry went dropped out on seven so I think these I think the third place teams possibly go to like the uh, Euro U UEFA Cup I think I don't know because it's never happened to me on the game before guys and I'm not particularly sure but I guess we could maybe possibly see um, and uh, Pauk, sadly bottom, not even a, well they got one win, at least they got that. <laughs> um, we came top of our group, Chelsea did go through on 8 points, um, Sparta Prague, um, sort of close-ish, but no, Bilbao came bottom with only 3 points, only 1 win, same as Pauk. <laughs> uh, Barcelona came top, uh, 5 wins and a draw for them, Olympiacos second, only just, um, yeah, I think they got through just by one goal difference, guys. 7-4-7 seven, seven against, so they would have been on zero. And last year, I think we're on minus one, so interesting. Goat ball came bottom. Newcastle. <laughs> this is a joke of a group, this. Newcastle top. We're talking about Champions League here, guys. Newcastle top. Ajax second. Juventus bottom. Juventus lost three, drew three, and won nothing. How does that even work? Just what is that? I mean, look at the goals for and against. The goals for and against was exactly the same as Lilstrom. I just, I don't understand, guys. I really don't. Um, uh, well done to Dortmund there. And, uh, Dortmund, not quite the team they are nowadays in the, uh, you know, in like 2015 and 2014s and 2013s and all this lot. But, <laughs> you know, uh, well done to uh, Dortmund here. Um to get from well actually Dortmund we're good but then they whatever but you get what I mean guys um so uh, Real Madrid uh, came second on nine points so despite their loss they had actually three losses but they managed to win three and get through so whatever Celtic mm, did decently but they just needed that one more victory that would have done it for them Gat come bottom and that's it yeah um this is just all the um the group stage matches right here so we actually are going to get to find out who we're playing so let's have a look round two which would be sort of round one in the knockout phase uh by munich and sorry nope not by munich by leverkusen that's strange what by munich in it um by leverkusen are going to be against real madrid so, interesting one there. Valencia are going to be against Ajax. PSV, Olympiacos. Where are we going to be? Porto. Not bad. Not a bad draw for us, guys, at all. Roma taking on Chelsea there. 
Um, and Barcelona are going to be against Man United. Oh dear. I wonder what's going to happen in that one, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Newcastle, PSG. Who knows? Newcastle could get through. And then uh, Dortmund are against Benfica. But yeah, guys. Uh, and then obviously the return fixtures. So we're going to be away secondly. Um... As confirmed here, and uh, we'll have a look in just a moment. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this episode, guys. Just before we go, though, we are going to be playing Iz at Alkmaar away in the next game, and then we're going to be at home against them Bosch and that. So, and then we've got a Christmas Eve match coming up for you pretty soon, and uh, a New Year's Eve match coming up for you. So, we'll get to that eventually. But if we can have a look ahead here, I think we'll get to see when we are playing. Um, Porto, there we are. We've actually got like a few weeks off to so rest up, so that's pretty nice just before the Porto game. And that is going to be on February 28th, so that's leaving it a little bit late there. Um, February 28th, and there's a cut match, and then the next, well, the away match will be two weeks later on March 14th, 2006, guys. So, yeah, thanks for watching this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe as always. See you in the next match for Alkmaar and Embosh. See you then.